Hello folks, I'm Jason Jackson and welcome to the farm. Today we're going to be doing some tips for the Poultry Biosecurity YouTube channel sponsored by Southland Organics. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up tip to last week's tip about water pressures. Last week I, I talked about the two different types of water pressure that you as a grower will deal with. The amount of water pressure that's coming in from the outside and traveling into your regulators and the amount of pressure that's actually inside the drinker lines inside the houses. That led us to several questions from growers from around the country where they were asking how they could do a better job of monitoring the amount of water that they have inside their houses and how they can do a better job of providing adequate amounts of water. Well, that all boils down to what we call flow rate. And you see, the nipples should have a certain amount of flow rate and that flow rate is regulated by the amount of water column height that you have in that standpipe. Different nipples put out different amounts but in general most of broiler chickens the rule of thumb that's used to gauge it is you take the day of age and add 20 to it and that gives you the amount of milliliters per minute that your nipples should be putting out. You see, broiler chickens in general, the size of their beak, based on how large they typically are at a certain age, can only hold so much water. And if you are putting out too much water through those nipples, well that water is just going to be spilling out of the beak into the litter, causing damp conditions in the litter, more humidity in the houses, in general causing problems. You may see uh, increased water consumption on your water meters, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the birds are consuming that. Water usage and water consumption are two very different things. You can't force a bird to drink, but what you may end up doing is being detrimental if you run your pressures too high. So we're going to talk about how you as a grower can check to see that you're providing adequate amounts, not too much and not too little. It's pretty simple. I don't think you'll have a whole lot of trouble figuring it out. Basically all you need is some type of measuring cup that's graduated in milliliters or cc's. They're both the same. And then you want to go to your regulators and oftentimes you hear people saying that you need to go to the nipple that's farthest away from the regulator. I think that's a good place to start. But don't just test just that one nipple test them all. It's pretty simple. You just take the measuring cup, you hold it up against the nipple and trigger it so that all the water that's coming out of that nipple is going into your measuring cup and as soon as you trigger it you start a timer. Set a 30 second timer on your cell phone. Wait 30 seconds. When that timer goes off, immediately stop. Take it away from it and look. Let's say that your birds are three weeks old. That's 21 days. 21 days plus 20 is 41 milliliters per minute that you should be putting out. If you measured 30 seconds worth, well just double how much you got and that's how much per minute you're putting out. It's a pretty simple task and you should be, it doesn't matter if you're just a fuzz off on each day, but you need to be pretty close. If you're over that amount, if your nipples are putting out way too much, well you can back your water column down. Don't just say, oh, well, I run it at about six inches. That's not a good enough thing. You need to check your nipples and make sure that they're all fairly consistent. And it's also a good way that you can figure out if you're having some problems. There's a good chance that if your litter is really wet, that you're running your pressure in your standpipes a little too high based on flow rate, not based on some chart the service tech gave you at one point in time. If your litter is not wet and you're not getting a whole lot of weight on your birds, chances are you're not getting adequate flow rate. See, there's several different options there where you can balance that out, but the only way to know is by checking the flow rate of the nipples. I don't think you need to check every nipple in the house, but you certainly don't need to just check the one closest to the regulator and the one farthest away. You need to randomly check it down the lines. Alright folks, I'm Jason Jackson. And that's the tip for the week. Thanks. Have a great day.